Hello, welcome to Christ Centered Gamer's latest unboxing of something I'm really excited about. This is our very first product from Red Dragon. They sent this to us to review. Uh, this is the Red Dragon Caster Pro 68 Keys Gaming Keyboard. This is a 60% wireless uh, with Bluetooth, uh, USB dongled, uh, uh, 2.4 gigahertz, and wired. Uh, this is, uh, what's the model number? Oh yeah, the K631. Yeah, that's right. So here, I'm gonna bring this close. Uh, if you can see the front of the box. All right, then you can look at the side. There's not much as a hidden skew there, UPC there. Whoop, almost dropped that. <laughs> All right, and let's take a good look at the back and I'll read off some of the features. There you go. All right, so this is the black and mint look. Okay, uh, this one is 68 keys, portable, compact design, compatible with all types of mechanical switches. So this is mechanical switch swappable, which is really cool. I can't wait to play with that. It's got a Type-C to USB-C charging cables, or USB charging cable, um, RGB backlighting, detachable cable via USB-C port, built-in battery, uh, Windows software for configuration. Uh, yeah, so I'm really excited. Um, for a long time, I have been, people ask me, are Red Dragon keyboards good? Are Red Dragon keyboards good? I don't know, but today I get to find out for the first time and I'm really excited. Um, they, I know that they offer a great value, but I don't know how good they are until now. So let us open this thing up and find out together. Okay. I'm so excited to show, check out this, this keyboard out. So excited. Okay, let's see how this comes. If this is all I need here to open this up. All right, so again, thank you, Red Dragon, for sending this to us to review. Okay, let's see if I can get this out. <laughs> That's not a funny. Okay, all right, so this is just the box. So I'm going to go ahead and put this to the side. All right, we've got that right there. It did get a little bit crunched in shipping, but you know, what are you going to do? Uh, there's our little flap to open it. All right, so let's go ahead and open this. Okay, so here we got things. Cool. Okay, so that's what the packaging looks like. We have a little, okay, so this is cool. So we've got a keycap removal tool and a switch removal tool. Okay, right there. Okay, I'm gonna put that, I may, may use that, but we'll put it just out of frame for now. All right, we've got a little box with something, some instructions on it. I don't know what else is in there. Mechanical switch replacement. Are there replacements in here? Let me check that out. Maybe there are. Trying to get this guy pried without ruining the box. Tiny boxes like this are hard not to break. There we go. Okay. All right, we've got a tiny a little foam. Oh, it says Red Dragon Mechanical Gaming Switches on this side of the little mini box. So this is, wait, wait, wait. Come on out. Uh, Again, trying to remove it without breaking anything here. Okay, yes, this is four spare switches. Oh, how cool. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out. All right, so this is a three pin variety switch. And, okay, I'm gonna turn off my uh, um, noise suppression just for a moment. So you guys can hear what this sounds like. So it's got a little blue bottom, kind of a clear top with, I don't know, looks like sparkles in it, which is kind of funny. And a yellow box style right there on the switch. And this is what it sounds like when I push it. it has a little bit of a sound. Very neat. And there's four of them in here, which is awesome. Spare switches is great, especially if one of them's bad or you break one or you have a spill or something like that and you have a problem. Or even comparing these switches with others that you might have. This is the USB-C cable. It actually looks pretty nice. Oh, this is awesome. Okay. So first we got a right angle connector on the one end. Okay. Then we have Nice Velcro straps, which I always love Velcro straps. But you can check this out. A USB-A cap on the end. But if you want to use a USB-C, you got that. That's brilliant. I love this. I'm already impressed with the cable. I know that sounds silly, but 
you know, you work with a lot of different keyboard brands and they all seem like the same. This is just something different and I love that. Okay, here's our little manual, which you probably won't need to look at just yet. This is uh, some stickers. There you go, show you what the stickers look like. Ready to battle, Red Dragon, pretty neat. Okay. And last but not least is the keyboard itself. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this out of the sleeve and get an honest first impression because I have not opened this yet. Okay, so go ahead and put that box over here. Okay, so let's see. All right, so here's their USB 2.4 gigahertz dongle. I'm gonna go ahead and remove that. If I can figure out how to get it out. Um, boy, I'm not sure how to remove that. That's a stubborn son of a gun. There we go. It needed a little bit of force to pry it out, but I got it out. Here's what it looks like removed from the bottom. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and stick this in my test computer, which I'll be using to test the uh, keyboard in just a minute. Actually, let me give you a good show of the dongle. So here's the logo on the bottom. It might be hard to see. And there's ridged sides like so. And then just a standard connector. It's pretty small, which is always a good thing for USB dongles, making them small. This is a tight fit in the port, actually really tight fit. Uncomfortably tight. Okay, so here's a good look at the bottom. We've got a couple feet here. It looks like there's only one size for the flip feet. What is this down here? I don't know. Looks like there's little notches on the corner. I don't know why that is, but there you go. Again, you can see we've got a translucent bottom. It's got an interesting texture to it. Kind of got a hollow on the bottom, it seems like, a little bit hollow. Um, we've got, okay, there's a switch on the side. It's currently set to off. 2.4 gigahertz and BT and then a USB-C port on the side. So I'll show you that right away. Okay. Uh, hopefully it'll focus. I don't know if the camera's going to behave today. There we go. All right. Uh, here's the front of the keyboard. The, the business end. Okay, we've got quite a lot of action here, and I'll look at that more in a moment. You can see the logo on the bottom. Okay, and that's about about it, really. Um, I'm not sure what kind of keycaps these are. You know, this isn't bad. I think the MSRP on this is around sixty to seventy dollars, something like that. It's a pretty nice feel. It sounds pretty good too. Very interesting. So looking at the layout. Um, I see a few things come to mind. Uh, tilde and back tick are in an interesting spot. They're they're over here, instead of you know overlaying it with the with the escape maybe with maybe with function or something like that. You've got function one and function two, so maybe that means pressing both at the same time. You've got home and end right here, uh, kind of in the middle by the uh, left and right bracket. Print screen and insert are by um, semicolon and uh, quotes. It's got a, what appears to be a macro record button up here by backspace, delete, and what looks like a power or reset button up in the corner. Page up, page down are right here, which is good. You got the arrow keys with some, what I'm assuming is brightness set it changes. Um, function keys are overlaid on the numbers, as you kind of expect on this kind of keyboard. It's got three Bluetooth options and one 2.4 gigahertz, which is great. You've got media keys in the bottom, which is awesome. I'll play pause, forward and backward song, and stop a mute and volume as well. So that's a pretty good layout. Um, so let me see if it's got enough battery for me to do a quick test. And, and maybe we can get some RGB in this action too. Okay, so now it's, it shows us Bluetooth. All right, so we've got some definite glowing going on here. Let's give you guys a good look at that glowing. So, so far, you can actually see it through the bottom too, which is kind of wacky. Um, the uh, Let's see, uh, yeah, it's definitely some serious rainbow. Um, it's currently set to Bluetooth mode, so I'm gonna switch it over to 2.5 gigahertz, or 2.4 gigahertz. Hopefully that did it. Yes, it did. Actually, it's quite a quick switch as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and do some quick typing uh, on this computer here. All right. Yeah, it's it feels great, actually. I'm, I'm kind of impressed. This is not a bad feel at all. So I'm gonna compare this real quick, just as a five second thing, compared to some of the other keywords I have. Here's an older Royal Kluge, um, 
This is brown instead of red. But I feel like this one is a better feel. This one is clacky and, and is in, a, in a bad way. And this one is a little clacky, but it feels more solid. So I, I like that. And uh, we'll compare this against the, the Rocket, which is a much more expensive wireless keyboard. Uh, this one is also nice. It feels solid, but the keys have much more, feel like they have more pressure. These require, this one requires more force to bottom out where these are gentler. Um, so yeah, I'm leaning towards, I kind of like this one because I, I kind of need a softer touch keyboard. So yeah, this is really nice so far. Um, yeah, this is really nice. Uh, let me see if I can figure out a way to change some of the colors. Um, this looks like the speed up and slow down of the pattern. Something is changing. I'm seeing flashing. So apparently I'm changing some kind of mode or speed or brightness or something. It's brightness. Okay. Uh, must be all the way up. All right. I just changed something. Now it's doing red only. Now it's doing, doing green, but it's doing waves. I don't want waves. I want standard colors. Oh, wow. That's wild. There's some serious patterns over here. What if I just want a standard color? Come on, help me. Oh, this is wild. There we go. That's red. Yellow. Or is that a greenish? I guess. Um, this is green. This looks sharp. And there's a blue. I'm a blue guy, so we're going to go ahead and stick with blue. But yeah, that looks really nice. Um, I guess the last thing to do is to look under a key switch. See what it's like. And then we'll be conclude this, I think. So I also got to do a switch puller or this wouldn't be complete, right? So switch puller, start with our keycap puller. I guess we'll do escape since that's probably the most traditional method here. All right, so I got the keycaps off. I am not sure if this is PVT. It could be. It's got a little bit of texture on the top, but I'm, I'm not so good with my plastics that I know for sure what this is. But I'll give you a good close look at it, and then I'll flip it inside out. So you can see that it's got clear on the inside and, you know, the mint color on the outside. All right, and let's see what this... I'm going to show you what this looks like. You can see it's one of the screws because it appears to be uh, plate-mounted. So we'll go ahead and take a good look at that. Uh, hopefully you can see that. Uh, maybe I should turn it off and, and make it not so bright. Let me try that. Maybe it'll be easier to see. There we go. So there's the switch. Okay. And then let's see. Sorry about that. I had to turn back out the noise canceling because we got something going on over here. All right, and we've got, uh, I'm going to pull this switch out, see how this looks, see how to do this. I've never done this before. This is actually my first time ever pulling out a switch. So if I'm going to make myself look dumb, well, that's why. Uh, does it come out sideways or vertically? Looks like it's got to be sideways. But it's, it's kind of stubborn. Yeah, you know what? This may have to take place off camera. All right. Well, this is a really nice, uh, pretty pretty impressive keyboard for the for the price, especially uh, so far. So, please look forward to the full written review where well I where I will have figured out how to pull out switches, and uh, I'll have given this a full time you know spent more time with it, give it a full work once over, and I'll give you my full impressions in the written review. Thank you. Take care and God bless.